with who it takes to some viewers may be surprised to learn that Strictly went to Blackpool at the weekend. It's true. We kept it very quiet this year. On Saturday night, the class of 2017 illuminated the Tower Ballroom and produced some real wowzer showstoppers. Alexandra and Gorka right on the money, climbing to the top of the leaderboard. Amazing. Gemma and Ali Ash took a tram to 10 towns. So happy for Gemma. Uh, but one couple's light had to go out, and sadly, Johnny and OT were eliminated from the competition. But it's OK, people, because the Blackpool Fun Bus has brought them home to us, and we can't let them go without a huge send-off, Johnny and OT! <laughs> Let's not let them go. Uh, joining them tonight is Blackpool's favourite ravers, Joe and Katya! <laughs> Stop. First up, if there's one thing we love here at It Takes Two, it's a behind-the-scenes look-see, so nothing could stop our film crew from capturing all the fun of the seaside. When I walked in this morning, I got tingles, I got goosebumps. It was unbelievable. Everything is bigger in Blackpool. The ballroom, the performances. And the scores. Hopefully the scores. And the scores. <laughs> it, it felt great during the weekend rehearsals, but yeah, today... But this is ten times. So like, cool. Whoa. Yeah. Playing James Bond this week, and after that I'm feeling a little shaken, but not stirred. So there's a film called Strictly Ballroom, yeah. and this is their pastel where they dance with their hearts rather than trying to get points from the judges. So it's life. life. So we're watching everyone's rehearsals. Everyone's smashing it, aren't Smashing they? it. High five, everyone. Thank you, everyone. There's so much to remember that while my makeup's being done, I'm watching my rehearsals from yesterday, making sure that routine is really in my head. It definitely feels like we're on a big family yeah. holiday. Yeah. Everyone is just buzzing. So this is your first time in Blackpool? Believe it or not, it is my first time in Blackpool. I've never been up Blackpool Tower. Let's go to Blackpool Tower now. Oh, let's do it. I'm going to let's take do it. it. Come on. Come on. Actually, this is really cool. Look at this! <gasps> nice, nice to, to see, see you, to see you, to see you nice. nice. Everyone's getting their final touch-ups. David's looking sexy in a vest. Thank you. <laughs> Unlike any of the other boys on this show, Buff Manton, I have some hairs on my chest. Ew, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Tensions are running high. So there's excitement. <laughs> and then the red. That was good climbing, those <laughs> kids. <laughs> Magic, wasn't it amazing? Now, at the weekend, Johnny and OT were transported into the Tower Ballroom for a futuristic techno tango that sadly proved to be way ahead of its time. Before we say our final farewells, here is their last dance. <laughs> Absolutely.
absolutely gutted to say goodbye to you two. Team Glitterblader in such a joy. Prince Johnny, Queen OT. Um, how are you feeling after the whole event? Uh, good. No, yeah. I've had a great time and I've got so much further than I expected to. I remember yeah. well, week one or two, OT oh, would yeah. not stop telling me off for just saying, I just want to get to week six. <laughs> just want to get to week six. She's like, no. Yeah. She was like, week nine can be your goal. So we made that second goal, yeah. so I'm more than happy. It's unbelievable. And I tell you what, if you're going to go out, yes. going out in the Tower oh, yeah. Ballroom with that crowd under those lights and yes. those costumes and that performance, um, did it feel really special, Johnny? Yeah, no, it was amazing. And I think, you know, to get the opportunity to go to Blackpool, like you say, to be a yeah. part of the whole show, but to get that far, um, it was incredible. Uh, it was really incredible, and I yeah. think, yeah, to this person who's who's managed to give me some amazing choreography uh, over the last few weeks. And... She is one of the best, <laughs> isn't oh, she, on the choreography <laughs> side. I have to say, um, and, uh, you know, mixed comments from the judges afterwards, but let's just remember, Craig said he loved, loved, loved it, Johnny. He Never did. forget those words. Incredible. Yeah. see how much fun was it to put that piece together? It was so much fun because, I mean, I, my goal was to get to Blackpool. Like he said, he kept saying week six. I'm like, listen, I'm on that train to Blackpool and you're going to be on it whether you like it or not. <laughs> you oh, are boy. coming with me. And so when we got there, honestly, my mindset kind of changed. It was like, you know what, we're here. It does it doesn't really matter what anybody says. Let's just go out there and enjoy it and give it the best tango that we can. And that's what we did. And I was so proud of him you because we enjoyed it. Yeah. Afterwards, how you were thrilled. Yeah. That you did do so good. Also, the joy of dancing with your husband on the stage. Oh, yeah. as well. Marius was there as well. There he is. Look, Look at him. Holding oh. me back, trying to hold me back from <laughs> Stay away from, Stay from away my from wife. My wife. Yeah. <laughs> how was it to dance crazy. with the two men in your life? Like, that are lucky you. Hmm. Um, <laughs> it, it, you know what? My husband, my husband is everything to me. He's so amazing, and I think he was there as moral support. And also in the dance off, he was like, "Do you know what? The judges just gave you the best wedding anniversary present ever." I know it was your <laughs> wedding anniversary as well. Yeah, oh. it was. So, so it was and like, then yeah. you could see how proud he was of you as well. I thought that was beautiful. So you're going into the dance off. You'd, you'd done that before. How did it feel this time? Did it feel different? Did it feel easier? Did it feel yeah? yeah. I think it was easier. Um, yeah. I think it just, you know, you know what you're in for yeah. um, as well. So you just try and enjoy it. And obviously it was Blackpool. It was a great dance. Yeah. You know, I really enjoyed it. And again, it, you just try and use what the judges say and try and improve. Yeah. Um, and obviously going up against someone like Debbie, who's an incredible dancer. Um, I kind of knew probably what was going to happen. So yeah. I just had to try and enjoy it as much as possible. Yeah. Which, which you did, and it was glorious. An interesting fact for you all, Stats fans. Uh, you might be surprised, but maybe um, comforted to know that week nine is notorious for sporting heroes. Yes! Oh, yeah. It's when they all go. <laughs> Look, these guys have all fallen at the week nine hurdle. So you're in great company. Kenny Logan, gorgeous Kenny, way back in series five. Tuffers, <laughs> Phil Tufnell, went out in uh, series seven. Michael Vaughan, same week back in Series 10. Ben Cohen, Series 11. And last year, another one whose bum they loved, Greg Rutherford. <laughs> um, so does that, does that help a little bit? Or, uh, I don't know. Right, it made me laugh, actually. I read a story, apparently a source close to me oh, yeah. had said that I was really worried about the sportsman curse in Blackpool. I didn't even know what it was know. until Thank I goodness. read the article. Thank but goodness. maybe I should have known what it was. Yeah. <laughs> it's really best not to know. It has been such an epic journey for you. If you use the J word, I think you're going to be really impressed we see it's all put together. Johnny and Oti, here is your Strictly story. Yeah. <laughs> Strictly is obviously so far removed from my athletics. I'm just going to try and dance my way as close to that finish line as I can get. Pushing you to your personal best will be... Oti! Oh. Being partnered with the first Paralympian on Strictly is such an honour. First day, are you excited? Uh, scared. Johnny and I will be dancing a waltz. Right now, it's just putting one foot in front of the other and not falling over. You have all the discipline and the focus. You're going to go a long way. The continuous pivoting, that's a very, very difficult step to do. Week one can only go up from here. That's it. He's quite reserved, quite relaxed, quite shy. And this is a way for me to help him come forward and just show how much fun he is. I'm hoping I'm just going to be able to have a bag of fun and put on a good show. It was fantastic. You are fabulous out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. The patho, it's just a whole body thing. I'm a little bit nervous about it. He's a lot harder on himself than what he needs to be. 
Oh, Indiana Johnny can take me anywhere. A brilliant job. Yeah, yeah I guess That was definitely the... <laughs> He's gaining a little bit more confidence. He's starting to believe in himself a little bit more. There was so much going right there. I really loved it. I thought it was a wonderful, wonderful routine. Come on, Pico! Yes! Progress, progress. We're getting there. Gosh, you made that look easy. All the elements of dance are coming together. I thought you were outstanding today. Well done. You got our first nine! Nine! Now what we've got to try and get to. I think secretly he loves shaking his hips. I always see a smile in the corner of his face. I think it's fair to say that Otis's been the most important person on my journey. That she sees potential and she will challenge you, but it always pays off on Saturday night. There are some dances that suits us, some don't. It was very stompy, very flat-footed throughout. Not your best dance, but I know you, you're a fighter and you'll come back next week. I thought the lifts were spectacular. You have no fear and it's a fabulous attitude, so keep that up. Oh, come in. Oh, oh. This week we have the Foxtrot. We're back to ballroom, which is great. Ballroom is more his thing. This dance requires incredible amount of control. You were trying very hard to get it right. At week eight now, it needs to start to really improve. Having to go into the dance off it was not a nice feeling. They saved Johnny and OT. Yeah. Blackpool's just got this magic about it. We've just got to try and do this weekend as best as possible. The focus. Thank you so much. I loved the routine. Judges, it's time to decide. I'm going to say Debbie and Giovanni. Debbie and Giovanni. Debbie and Giovanni. I want to thank each and every one of you for judging me as an equal. Johnny is an inspiration. If you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. Oh, that's my Johnny, she just screamed. Yeah. Um, Johnny, seeing you there, thank the judges for judging you as an equal. That was so important to you, wasn't it? That was really important. That was one thing that I was kind of a little bit anxious about coming onto the show, is yeah. being how are the judges going to be with me? And to see from week one, they didn't treat me any differently. You know, they always looked at me like everyone else. They saw problems and mm -hmm. they called me up on those problems. They didn't have any excuses because I try not to have any excuses myself and we just try and make it as good. You know, even Otis, she'll try and make me point yeah. that toe. Even if, even if we can't point that toe. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody would say it, so I'd say yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, the thing is, your posture has been so critiqued yes. um, on the show. Lots of talk about your bum. My bum, um, they love it. It's got its own Twitter account, yeah, hasn't it? It has, isn't it? It's amazing. I'll be signing on that. Yes. So many people had an awful lot to say about that, especially this weekend. What was your take on all of that, Johnny? Um, you know, I think we knew week one that the tango was always going to be a difficult yeah. dance when it comes to posture. Um, I think being in a, a slightly sunken position, you know, I challenge... It's a challenge in the gym anyway when I do deadlifts, when I have yeah. to kind of squat down. Um, so yeah. we kind of get around it in different exercises. So we always knew the tango was going to be slightly different. I mean, we just tried to kind of look at the bigger picture yeah. and try and fix everything else. So... Um, I think it was probably better in the dance off than it was for the first one. It was one, but... amazing. In yeah. The dance -off. <laughs> yeah. What, oh it, my God! It was. I was just sitting there like, oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, we're doing this. Yeah, yes! I know. She leaves happy. Yeah. She does leave happy. Um, and Ot, you were saying that Johnny's been such an inspiration, yes. which he has. How has he inspired you? I mean, for me, well, he's taught me patience. Yes. I'll start there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! This boy's taught me patience. Um, but we've we've worked hard, and I think. Um, with every season, you get different partners, and I've had to learn and get to know him and adjust to it. I think I'm going to cry now. Oh, What's, my name? Texting... What's my name? Johnny Pinker! <laughs> there she is. No, I've had to adjust and learn to him and his personality and how he works. And he's such a nice, nice person. You really feel like you have somebody taking care of you. And he worked hard. He really wanted to to work out, I remember we were talking especially about the legs, that there were things we were going to sacrifice, but it was about the bigger picture. It was about what he stood for and who he was on the show. And I think that came across. And we went out in Blackpool. 
And that was the goal. And I'm so happy. And I'm so happy I got to meet you. <laughs> I and I feel like I'm going to have a best friend now. <laughs> ever. Forever. And I Friends for the life. I did first. Great. Now I'm not going to get told off. <laughs> oh, now you're not going to get told off. And <laughs> Sally, okay, your lovely girlfriend yeah, gets you back. Yeah. And very quickly, who would you like to win, Johnny? Who would I like to win? Well, Aston. OK. <laughs> I've got some news for you. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, uh, no, remaining you're... couples, I think. Uh, I love David. You David. know, I think he's he's okay. a non-dancer who's come in. He's okay. he's improved. So he's done incredible. Brilliant answer. You have been such an inspiration. You're a complete dude. Amazing partnership. We adore the two of you, <laughs> Johnny and Ot. <laughs>